Are you wondering whether the north of Phuket is worth a visit? If you're coming to Phuket, you might be trying to create an itinerary and you're wondering whether the areas next to the airport, Nai Yang and Mai Khao Beach, whether they're worth a visit. In today's video, we've headed up north to find out what this area is like and whether it's worth adding it to your itinerary. Hello. Oh, non Lao. Him Lao. It wasn't easy to find my cow beach, but I feel like we're definitely at the right location now because there's a few people stood right in front of the airport now with the cameras ready to, ready to record flight taking off. If you want to go plane spotting at Mai Khao Beach, there are two ways to get there. You can walk along from Nayang Beach to Mai Khao Beach and that would take about half an hour. The best option is to use Google Maps and head towards Mai Khao Soy 6. Oh, yeah. If you're on a motorbike, you can ride along a dirt track to get to the front of the runway. But, if you're in a car, you can just jump out and jump onto a motorbike taxi and that'll only cost you 20 baht. We're right in front of Phuket International Airport now, waiting for the planes to take off. Usually from December to round about May, the wind blows from east to west, so you can see the planes coming in over the beach, but we're in June now, so I think the wind has changed direction and the planes need to take off in the same direction as the wind. I think it's more dramatic when the planes come in over the beach, but I'm quite excited because I can hear the sound of some of the plane's engines in the background. A top tip for you, there's actually a website which is called Flight Radar 24 and There's a website called Flight Radar 24 and if you log on to this website it tells you the times of the departures, it tells you which airline is due to take off. This is really exciting. so we're actually on the road and we're watching the planes coming in to land. The view is a little bit restricted because there's a fence over here that's probably about like 10 foot, but you still get a good view of the planes coming in to land. Okay, let's get to Nayang and check into the hotel we're staying at. This place is called Sun and Sea. I'll give you a quick room tour. It's a small room, but it's cheap and cheerful, and it's only 500 Thai baht a night. The Wi-Fi is really strong, and this area is really quiet. It's a great location, as it takes about 10 minutes to walk to Nayang Beach. Oh, after all 
all that dancing, I think we need something to eat. Along the Nayang Beach, there are a few restaurants to choose from. This restaurant is called Ibrahim, and you can fill your belly at a very low price. The most popular dish on the menu is beef noodle. I had the red curry chicken with rice and fried egg and it was delicious and Jerry had the beef noodle. Then afterwards, if you're still hungry, you can grab a roti from a street vendor, which is delicious. <laughs> Fast forward a few hours and it's time for dinner. Along Nayang Beach, you can find a selection of beach restaurants. We chose Penn's restaurant as it has the most reviews and was also recommended to us by the owner of the hotel that we stayed at. The food here is not expensive and the cocktails are great. During happy hour, they're only 100 baht. And if you're lucky enough to visit on a clear night, you'll be able to catch an amazing sunset like this one. There's also a nightlife area with a few venues to choose from in Nayang. They were all pretty empty when we were there, but you can definitely see that there's the potential to have an enjoyable night here when it's more live. Oh yeah. That's cool. Hello. Maybe yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> If you fancy a relaxing evening after dinner, there's several massage shops for you to choose from. Have you seen that sign over there? Broken English spoken perfect. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, non Lao. Im Lao. Im Lao. Ready, Pop? If you're a morning person, a walk along Nayang Beach is highly recommended. This beach is also popular for kite surfing. And finally, if you're in Nayang or Mai Kau, one of the fantastic things that you can do is visit Soy Dog Foundation or you can volunteer. If you volunteer, you can spend your day walking these gorgeous dogs and be smothered with affection from all of the beautiful cats. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit subscribe and hit the like button. And if you want to see more of what you can do in Phuket, you can have a look up here and there's a link to our Andamanda water park, which is a new water park that's just recently opened in Phuket. And if you want to find out how you can help and support Soy Dog Foundation, there's a link in the video description. See you soon.